Hello everyone, in this video we will learn what is promise chaining, how you can implement promise chaining in JavaScript, then we will try to implement promise chaining in the load script function which we made in the previous video for dynamically adding multiple scripts in our index.html file. Then finally we will try to handle some errors using promises which we also learned in the previous video but in this video we will dive in more detail. So let's start all these concepts one by one and understand them how they work. So let's go to the promise.js file. So this file we created in the previous video where we were dynamically loading this script. If you haven't watched it, please do watch it. So let's comment the calling function. Now we will create one more promise in which we will try to understand what exactly is promise chaining. So let's create a promise by writing new promise. Inside it we will create one function which will take two parameters. First is resolve and second is reject. So inside this function we will try to perform some asynchronous task. So you might have used so many asynchronous functions in JavaScript. So one of that function which we will use in this video is set timeout, which calls the particular function after a particular interval of time. So let's just send the resolve callback with some result value after one second. Okay. So let's try to fetch this result. You write dot then to fetch the result and this function will try to fetch this result and after fetching we want to just alert it okay let's try to manipulate this result and return this result to another promise so let's also cache this result in the another promise method you can do that by writing dot then and again we will try to fetch this uh, returned result from the previous promise so in this way you can chain multiple promises and you can return multiple results from promises that you will attach with one another so let's attach one more promise method you can write dot then and again you can fetch the result after fetching you can again alert it so in this way you can use promise chaining and you can attach multiple promises with one another okay so let's save this file and let's see whether it is working or not okay so let's save it and let's see so let's refresh it after one second yeah we are getting the alert boxes with some results so it is working okay so let's refresh it again as you can see after one second exactly we are getting the alert with you know one then it is multiplied by four multiplied by four again so yeah I have also this picture with me you can see first we created a promise which was returning the resolve callback with some result and it was going to the another result sorry another promise method then after fetching the result it was manipulating it then it was returning the manipulated result to another promise method so in this way we were trying to attach multiple promises with one another which was returning some results to each other. So in this way you can chain multiple promises and you can see the direction will be unidirectional. The results are going in one direction only. So this is as exactly multiple you can say promise chaining. So I hope you now learnt what is promise chaining. Let's try to implement it in our load script function which we made in the previous video. So let's first comment all these things and uncomment the calling function where we were trying to dynamically load uh, the dynamic script file which we made in the previous video. So let's see how we will try how we will implement promise chaining here. So this was a function where we were dynamically loading the script. So let's first delete all these methods that we have created and we will write every method from scratch. Let's see how we will do that. So write dot then. So after fetching the result, we will again load one more script with another source. So let's load another script. Also try to return it because we want to chain multiple promises. So return this uh, load function with some another script source. As you can see, we have created this script already. So let's attach one more then method with this. So after loading the script, we want to load one more script. So let's write return load and write another script source. So till now you can see we have loaded three files. First is dynamic script, second is script two and third is script three. So after loading all these files, I want to call one by one functions from each file. Okay. So as you can see in script two, I have created one function which is alerting something. 
in script3 file also I have created one more function which is creating some uh, which is alerting something so let's call all these functions one by one and let's see whether uh, our files are dynamically loaded or not okay so let's go to our promise back and let's call functions one by one from all these dynamic scripts that we have loaded okay so let's call one by one function from all these files Let's save it and let's see whether it is working or not. So yeah, as you can see, we are getting the functions from all the files working successfully. So in this way, you can use promise chaining in JavaScript. Now we will try to handle errors if any error occurs. So how to do that? Let's see. So for handling errors, you write dot catch, which will fetch the error if error occurs in any of the promises which we have written above. So right now I'm just alerting the error. You can do anything, whatever you want to do with the error. Okay. So let's see whether it is working or not. Let's change the script source and let's see whether we are getting the error or not. So as you can see, we're getting the error because we have put the wrong script file in the second promise. If you notice once again. So you can also explicitly throw error if you want to throw. So let's explicitly throw error inside then method and let's see how you can do that. So inside then method, we will explicitly try to try to throw one error. Let's see how we will do that. So for that, you can write throw and then inside it, you can pass one error instance. You can write new error inside it. You can pass any error that you want to explicitly throw. Okay. So this error will go to the nearest catch okay so what happens is you can use as many catch that you want to use but it will always go to the nearest catch as you can see we're getting the error so in this way you can handle the errors in promise chaining and in simple promises so i hope you now understood what is promise chaining and how you can handle errors so thank you very much for watching this video thank you